Yesterday morning, Ducati let out a doozy of a teaser for the upcoming 2020 Street Fighter V4. The bike will be powered by the same 1103cc Desmodici Stradale 90 degree V4 engine that's seen on the Panigale V4, however, in a slightly different state of a tune. In essence, the Street Fighter makes 208 PS, German horsepower of about 205 mechanical horsepower, slightly down the rev range at 12,750 RPM compared to its fared sibling with the belts out 214 PS or 211 mechanical horsepower at 13,000 RPM. To put this into perspective with the competitors, the supercharged Kawasaki ZH2 has 200 horsepower, the MV Agusta Brutale 1000 Zero Oro has 212 horsepower, and the KTM 1290 Super Duke R has 180 horsepower. Now, to compare the Street Fighter with previous generations of itself, the Street Fighter 1099 and 1099S had 155 horsepower at 9500 RPM, and the Street Fighter 848 had 115.1 horsepower at 10,240 RPMs. Needless to say, the all new Street Fighter V4 is gonna be fast. For better aero, the Street Fighter V4 features biplane wings, while the entire Ducati electronic suite makes sure you're always in firm control of this mental naked. On the feature front, the bike's expected to have full LED lighting and a full color TFT screen, which could be ready to be paired with Ducati's multimedia system. Much like the Panigale V4 and many other Ducatis, the Street Fighter V4 II should also be arriving in two variants. The standard bike could be spec'd out with a Showa USD BPF and fully adjustable SOX Monoshock, while the S variant might get a top spec kit from Olens, which is electronically adjustable and semi-active. Braking hardware for both variants will be provided by Brembo's as Ducati will continue to use their top spec Stylema calipers for the bike. Overall, I'm very excited for the Spike. It's one of my dream bikes that I've aspired to get since it was first launched more than a decade ago. So if you're interested in keeping up with the most recent news of the upcoming Street Fighter V4, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's all I have for you right now. What are your thoughts on the bike so far? Is Takati putting themselves far ahead of the competition with the new Street Fighter V4? Because I sure think they are.